Full Inspector makes it really easy to use the full range of .NET types in Unity, ranging from simple things like dictionaries to the more complex, like generics and interfaces. Let's take a look at the Unity Inspector once Full Inspector has been installed. There are a few items in this sample behavior. You can see the source to the left and the inspector to the right. First, notice the array of floats. Full Inspector really improves the Unity Array slash List Editor. By default, you'll get an awesome reorderable list editor by Rotors that lets you reorder items, among many other features. Next, notice right below that array we have a dictionary. It allows us to easily add a key and set a value, and it just works very nicely, exactly as you would expect. Finally, let's take a look at this base value. Now, this is worth taking a second to explain, because it's a really cool feature of Full Inspector. Base value is an instance of base class with a generic parameter int. However, base class actually has two derived types, so our base value could be an instance of base class, derived one, or derived two. Full Inspector has noticed this and gives us a nice little drop down to select the instance type we want. Notice that this even works with generics. Full Inspector is automatically selected an int for the generic parameter for drive2. And of course, we can easily use the button that we exposed in the inspector to print out the current type of the base value field. Full Inspector is really easy to use. Everything just works. All you have to do is make sure that you derive from base behavior instead of mono behavior. Before this video ends, I want to show off a new feature that I think you'll really enjoy, the static inspector. It's extremely useful to use static variables in Unity, but it's a pain to find out their current value. The static inspector makes this simple. It'll give you an inspector interface to any type that has a static member. For example, let's check out this static behavior I've written. It has a few static and a few instance variables. Notice that the static variables are nicely exposed in the static inspector. We can see the static property, the static variable, and our cached instance. We can also modify the current values. We can also use a static inspector for any type we want, including ones that are part of mono, such as system.datetime. Full Inspector is all about making the pain points within the Unity Inspector disappear. Everything shown, of course, serializes properly. In this video, you got to see the JSON.NET serializer in action, but it's also easy to switch serializers. You just arrive from a different base class. There's a full demo available for Full Inspector, which includes every single feature. There are only two limitations. One, Unity is going to error out when trying to publish a build. And two, you don't have access to the full source code. The demo is really easy to use, and I hope you'll give it a try. I'm confident that Full Inspector will give you an awesome workflow boost. Let me know if you have any questions, either by commenting on the forum topic, creating an issue on the GitHub issue tracker, or by sending me an email. I'll be happy to reply. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.